Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for June 10th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving 234 Outside by Bill Murphy. We have normal Sudoku rules, one NIH row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some clues outside the grid, um, and there is uh, outside Sudoku. Uh, normal outside is digits in the clues outside the grid must appear in the first three cells away from the clue. But since this is two, three, four, this time it's the second, third, or fourth cells away from the clue. So the two, seven, and eight from this clue must appear in these three cells somewhere. And whenever we have a clue that has three digits, that means we're gonna have a triple. Um, so these are two, seven, and eight in some order. There's nothing else that can go there. It's gonna be important um, as we go through the puzzle. Um, I'm going to try and avoid pencil marking as much as possible because of my hand. Um, so the first thing we're going to look at is the intersection of these clues. So we have a 278 here, but we also have 123 here. The only digit that is in both clues is a 2, so it has to go in the intersection. We can do the same thing here. We have 368 vertically, 456 horizontally, so this is a 6. Here we have one, two, seven, and six, seven, eight, so that's a seven. Three, four, five, and one, three, six, so that's a three. And now th this is where pencil marking would be pretty helpful. Um, but we need to remember that there's a seven and an eight in these other two cells. So that means there's not a four or a six in this cell. These two cells must be four and six. There's not a four, uh, a one or a nine in this cell. So these two cells must be one or nine, and those we know the order because of the nine in the central box. And we can do something similar around the grid. So we know these are four and five. So three and nine must go in these two cells. So that's a three and that's a nine. We know these are one and two. So eight and nine must go in these cells. So that's an eight, that's a nine. And we know these are four and five, so six and nine must go in these cells. So that gives us a lot of nines and some of our digits in the middle. All right, we can resolve some of these um, pairs that we haven't completed yet. So we had one, two, three here. This can't be a one, so this is three. We had three, six, eight here. The three can't go here, so they go like that. Here we have six, seven, and eight, so this is six and this is eight. And here we had one, three, six, so this is one and this is six. Nice symmetry. All right, some of the other clues. Um, the three, four here, this can't be a three now, and remember, this can't be a three anyway because of this, but these are one, two. So this has to be our three, which means this is our four because this is one or two. The three, seven here, three can't go in box seven. So that's our three, that's our seven because this is four or five. The four and the six now are resolved by the six. So this is four, six. And the two, five is not resolved. So I think we're going to have to do a little more to resolve that. Um, let's look at the four, five, six here. We have a four in the box and in the column. So this is five, four in that order. Uh, the one, two is resolved by the one in the row. Four and five are resolved by the four in the column. Seven and eight are resolved by the eight in the row. And that's all the clues um, except for this two, five, which we can't resolve yet. So now we're going to look for um, any singles that we can place. And this may be tricky to find without pencil marks. That's okay. Okay, this column. We need two, five, and eight. We have a two and an eight in the box. So this is our five. And I'm just looking at all the columns to see what's 
missing. We we have six digits in most of these columns and six digits in a lot of these rows. That means three leftover digits. Um, so this column needs a four, five, and nine. There's a five in the row now, and there's a four in the box. So this is nine. Uh, the four and five are not resolved yet. This column needs four, five, and nine, so that has to be a four now. And that has to be five and nine in that order. And now that five is going to look over here and resolve our four and our five. So we had two and eight here, which we can't resolve. Um, just notice we have all the odd digits in this box. So the rest of these cells are even, and we have two, six, and eight in this row. So that must be our four. Okay, these are 1, 2, and 7. I don't think we can resolve those yet. Let's look across the rows. Um, these are 5 and 7, which is not resolved. Uh, 9 in this box can only go in that cell because of these 9s. And then we have 7 and 8 in the other two cells of the row. These are 3 and 7, which are resolved because of this 3. Down here, we need 1, 2, and 9. And the only place for 9 is this cell. Because of, well, a lot of 9s. It's also a single, a uh, hidden single. Um, these are 1 and 2 in some order. These are 2, 5, and 8. Um, and this and this can't be five. This is also a hidden single five. Okay, so these are two and eight. We have an eight in the box, so that's going to resolve that. These now are four and six. I have a four up here. Three in this box can't go in this column in that cell or that cell because of the threes, so it must go here. And six can't go in these cells, and there's also six here, so this is six. We need one, five, seven in the box. There's a one and seven in this row, and then there's a one in this row. Okay, these are two and four. We can resolve that, and that two is going to resolve our eight, two that we had earlier. This is a 6 to complete the box. Uh, 2 and 7 are not resolved here, but 5 is. These are 1 and 8, which are resolved now. That's going to place a 2 here. And then these are 1, 3, and 7, which should be resolved. Yep. And now that 7 is going to resolve the 2 and the 7 in the middle. It's going to give us 8 at the top, 2 at the top. Uh, we had 7 and 8 in this row, so that's resolved. And then we're left with 1 and 6, which are resolved by the 6 in the row. And now to finish it off, we need 7 and 1, and we need 2 and 5. And that is the solution. So lots of nice symmetry from Bill on this one, um, resolving the clues. And just a very pretty puzzle. Um, I like this type of puzzle a lot, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.